What's up, everybody? I'm heading to our uh, our first modern PPTQ in the valley of this modern PPTQ season. Pretty stoked. A uh, little nervous. Don't feel as prepared as I would like. Uh, should be a fun time though. It's down at Enclave Games. It's a it's a good little shop in the valley. Gonna meet up with uh, Team Hopefuls, Bad Will, and Gage. Um, got my fingers crossed for them. They're good guys, good friends of mine. Gonna be playing some Infect. Uh, not sure how well positioned it is right now, but you know sometimes you just gotta play what you know. But uh, super stoked. Check in in a bit. All right, boys. Made it down to Enclave. Getting pretty excited. We got Gage. We got Bad Will. Both team uh, team prospects. If they uh, if they win it today, they get on the team. How are you feeling, Gage? Feeling confident going forward. Uh, I've been preparing quite a bit for this. I think I prepared for this PPTQ more than I prepare for most Grand Prix. Cause nice. I got a lot of land. Really want to make it. So feeling good about my deck choice. And uh, what are you playing? Playing Mono Green Tron today. Hell yeah. How are you feeling, Bad Will? Uh, decided this morning what deck I was playing. Nine in the morning. Sweet. Absent company. Very cool. Fun day. A lot of life. How are you feeling? You good? good. Yeah. Excited yeah. about your prospects? Excited. What are you gonna do if you get on the team? I'm going to help uh, Mr. Cage if you get on the team. If I get on the team. <laughs> That's what I like to hear, boys. Vice versa. Let's both this. All right. Kill it today. Perfect. Thank you. All right, so we just finished up round two, the PPTQ and Enclave Games. Uh, I saw some disappointing news. You guys had to sit down across from each yeah, other, right? That was uh, not the most ideal of matchups. Uh, yeah, I felt bad that I did to take it down, but. Uh, what was the end record? Uh, I got a 2 0 uh, against Will, and I am sitting at 2 0 now. Nice. Going forward, so feeling good. Will still a solid 1 and 1. 1 and 1. back. I can do it. That's not too bad. Yeah, you can still get there. I'm an embarrassing 0-2, so right. it's on you guys today. Yeah. But... Hopefully I'll play against Bogles next round. Or yeah. Tron. Or another Tron match. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. all right. Well, sorry you guys had to play each other. Uh, it happens. Yeah. Good luck in round three. Good luck to you. you well, I'm one in three. I just had a pretty easy game against Elves. Um... That matchup can go go either way, usually, I think. But since I finished so quick, I'm going to get food for the crew. There's an awesome uh, little taco truck against Enclave. Something sweet about this spot. Uh, haven't dropped yet. I don't know if I should. I'll stick it out, see what happens. I think one, three, two will squeak in. So there's that. Catch you later. Yo, what up? Team ABU came to cheer the PPTQ people on. Woo! Gage is locked Gage. in for top eight. Go Gage. Yeah, baby. Feeling good. All right. Hey, you want to introduce yourself to me real quick? Hi, I'm Tyler Price, uh, part owner of Enclave Games. Nice. And what's going on today? Uh, today we have the modern PPTQ. Um, I can't remember which RPTQ it feeds into, but it's the first one of the season, so pretty exciting. Yeah, dude, it's great. It's a big turnout. We had like 28 people, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Sweet. And you guys play in it, yeah? Yep, I got to play in it. Um, yeah. How are you doing so fun. far? Um, I was two and, two and two coming into this round, so it was not looking good, but I got the pair up, which is good, and I won the match, so... Nice. So it's pretty yeah. certain you're gonna lock in for top eight then. Uh, there's a chance. There's a chance. It's yeah. It makes things weird when the when the pair down gets the win. Oh yeah, that's nuts. That works. Yeah. I mean, I don't think people would be surprised. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Tyler Price here is one of Boise's premier modern players. Did really good in uh in Vegas, right? Yep. Tell me a little 55th. bit about that. Fifty fifth. Fifty fifth place at GP Vegas. Um, I was playing Marty Pyromancer. Um, pretty awesome deck. Uh, I actually picked up the deck the night before we left. So oh, jeez, yeah, that's my even buddy, crazier. I didn't my know My buddy that. Craig bought it on yeah. Tuesday. We played, and I begged him to let me take it to GP because I was so impressed with the deck. Nice. That's um, awesome. I didn't know that. Yeah. I mean, we were there. We were rooting for you. Mm -hmm. I saw that live video. said yeah. you made it. That was pretty cool. Um, sweet. So if you get into the top eight, mm -hmm. are you feeling pretty good about your chances? What are you running? Um, today I'm playing Bridgevine, which is a pretty new deck. It's like just now getting popularity. 
uh, with M19, Stitcher Supplier came out. Oh yeah, okay. Which um, really pushed the deck over the top. Um, he's just, uh, for a black, enters, you mill three, and if he dies, you mill three. Yeah, I saw that. That's crazy. Yeah, he can result in some explosive starts. Are you liking uh, it? Vice. Oh yeah, the deck's a ton of fun. There's tons of lines, and it's a very, very, very powerful. Cool. Well, thanks for taking a second to talk to us. Yeah, uh, do you have any last things you want to tell the viewers about your shop or you or anything? Uh, Enclave Games, uh, right off of Overland. Um, yeah, come visit us sometime. We love having new people yeah. come in and play. It's a great place to play. Thanks for having us, man. Yeah, no problem. All right, boys. Well, the uh, top eight results for the cut just went up. And I happen to notice both of your names are on it. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, way to go. Second, second seed in there. Second seed going second into the top seat. eight. So. And you're lucky number eight. eight. You're the uh, eighth, you barely, you barely yeah, squeaked one, through. Two. Lucky number eight. <laughs> that is crazy, man. You guys feeling good? Feeling confident? I, feel good, I don't know. My first PTQ, second seed, top eight. Like, I, could, I can't ask more at this point other than to you know, win the whole thing, of course. Nice. All right, <laughs> well, good luck. Going Keep it up. Thank you. I scrubbed out. Uh, Tyler, who we just talked to, got ninth, almost squeaked in. I know he's going to win one of them, though, but uh, stay tuned. Hey, what's up, boys? What's up? It's been a couple hours. We're back in beautiful ABU. The day's closing up. Um, so the two of you were in the modern PPTQ, PTTQ today. We've been following your progress. There was some exciting news. You both ended up in the finals facing off with each other, right? It is correct. Yeah, that doesn't feel good, does it? Uh, I don't think it feels great. I oh, yeah? Was, I think it's awesome that him and I made it to the finals. I mean, only one of us could win anyways, and I'd rather be one of us. So I thought that was very cool. That's the right answer. Good job, Gage. <laughs> <laughs> Can't um, that. But yeah, so Gage, you, uh, you fought hard. Mm -hmm. Tron was doing great today, but you had to face off against Will. How do you feel almost making it? Um, I don't feel that bad, honestly. Um, this was my very first PPTQ that I've ever played. And to finish second place, I think, is pretty good. Um, I got to be proud of that. And uh, I'm Heck glad yeah. that it was Will who is also uh, on my team. Because if I had gotten second place and it was some random person, like I had no idea, I might be a little salty. But I get it. To know that first place went to my friend Will, who's also trying to get on the team. I get some satisfaction out of that. So. Nice, man. That's a good attitude. That's really good to hear. Uh, you're going to keep playing, right? This oh, is just yeah. number one no, in the PPTQ the season. I'm just starting off strong right out of the gates here, and now we're, we're going to finish strong, too. Oh. So. Nice. Is there anything uh, you think you're going to do different? Um, I might sideboard a little bit differently in this particular matchup if it happens, or maybe like consider... Uh, um, like things I, I didn't in this, uh, like the Stony Silence really caught me off guard there. Right. And I feel like I should bring in the Nature's Flames in any matchup, you know, that I feel like I might have cards like that that are going to mess me up. But other than that, I mean, I feel like I played pretty good magic tonight, and I'm happy with myself. Nice. What was your uh, favorite play of the game? My favorite play of the game, like the just the game between us? Or yeah, like, yeah. Just... Uh, matches. Well, you two first, and then you can tell me your favorite of the whole day. Sure. Uh, favorite play of the day between us was, honestly, I don't know if I have, a, like, a favorite play. Like, it, uh, uh, it felt like pretty, like, tron stuff to me. Like, I didn't do anything <laughs> super as an ordinary. Um, I mean, I got some, you know, turn three Trons, you know, assembled, and some I didn't. Um, I felt like I also made some play mistakes that I could have avoided, so, but that's okay. All right, yeah, stuff to work on, stuff yeah. to work on. Well, bend down. Let me see your hat. Yeah. All right. Congratulations, man. Thank you, Joe. Newest member of Team ABU, winning that PPTQ, taking it down. How do you feel? Very excited. Yeah? I was a little nervous because next week I can't get the weekend off to, to like try the event, so I'm so happy that I won this one because I'm not going to be able to make it next week. Now I won't have to. Nice. Um, does it change your schedule at all then, like mm -hmm. otherwise? Are you going to focus on... Another format, another... Yeah, yeah, now I'm just strictly going to be standard. I have to. There's so much going on. Like, the GP is so big, and it's standard, and I haven't committed to standard in a very long time, so I need to switch gears fast. Makes sense. You took a little bit of a rogue choice, I feel like, today. Uh, what deck were you running? Abzan Company. Abzan like Company, yeah. Counters Company. Okay, makes sense. You feel pretty good about that choice now, right? Yes. But you just switched this morning. Is that right? 9.30. 9.30? 9.30 this morning. 
played a little bit of moto, played some bogles, which was I was going in playing bogles, and then it just so inconsistent. Like I had mole to four, mole to three. Like it was just ley line wasn't didn't feel good enough. There, was, there wasn't a lot of storm or like Mardu fire match was fine because of like hand disruption, but I thought infinite life, infinite damage, whatever you know, that'll be better. Yeah, and it looks like it panned out. Yeah, it was. I'm pretty glad I didn't have to face you today. <laughs> You have any uh, big plays that stood out today? Um, so when I was playing against Burn, I had the, the life combo, the Vizier, Fistra Seer, and the Kitchen Finks, and I had sacked it once, and he, he had four mana open with like four cards in hand. So I was like, he's gonna kill it. I'm only gonna get two life and a scry. Let's try it. And then he let me do it the first time. I said, I'll do it again. Like, you know, a question mark kind of did it again. And then he was like, how much are you gonna do it? I was like, until you tell me to stop. I'm gonna miss scry this card on top. <laughs> so I went through that. That was great. And then in our match in the final, as soon as I could cord for Magus, I was just like, okay, I have Magus. I have a selfless spirit. I mean, most of his removal was gonna kill it no matter what. There's like negative. So I just the Magus was the biggest part of that of that game for us. Magus was good. <laughs> yeah, it looked nervous. good. I uh, I had to take off for a while, so I didn't get to see that play in person, but. I saw it on Dane's live feed, and I was yeah. like, Whoa! I'm so glad it was filmed, too, because just to remember that, I was like, oh, my gosh, I was going to lose here, and then, bam. All right, so I'm going to ask each of you in turn, but first, Will, any advice for people preparing for a big event like this? Play something you're comfortable with. Practice, practice, practice. Just get with some friends. Play as much magic as you can. Know what's going to happen. Just, I don't know, look it up. <laughs> look at all the decks up that are winning. Focus on what they're doing, what their sideboard's gonna be, what your game plan is, and make sure your sideboard is equally what you're siding out. Like don't don't have like, oh, what do I sideboard now? Just make sure it's pretty much scripted. Nice. Gage, any any final thoughts on advice for people when preparing for a top level event like this? Um or I took my semi top advice, level uh, yeah. from Curtis yesterday who told me that they need to take care of yourself uh, physically and uh, I think that was uh, like always a big part uh, going into any tournament. I made sure I went to bed at a decent hour, woke up this morning, had a banana, a muffin, and a granola bar. Nice. So that I could actually be uh, energized and focused uh, throughout the day and I think being uh, physically and mentally uh, prepared in that way uh, probably had a huge part in uh, taking me to the finals today. I have no doubt. You seemed clear headed, um, shiny eyed ready to take it on man that's good that's good to hear all right so world watch out gage raiders coming for these next he's pptqs next. he's next he's next bad will he's got this newest member of team abu Congrats. coming for the world all right thanks guys take care thank Joe. you